my last video, I was making an argument for the possibility of that we are in a denial stage, that we are basically coming back to that low of 30,000 ready for capitulation. In today's video, I almost wanna just do the opposite and make the argument for disbelief. Because as you guys know, recently, I've had a much more neutral stance on the market. And to keep my neutral stance in check, let's also talk about the other side of the trade. Right now, I'm not bullish. I'm not bearish. I am neutral. This has been, for some reason, a very difficult concept for people to grasp, but I just wanna make that clear. So I wanna start this video off by discussing a very interesting metric that I just came across from Willie Wu. He was showing the stablecoin ratio oscillator and how usually at the bottom of a bear market, it bottoms out you know, pretty much exactly the same way as where we are now. Right, so currently the stablecoin ratio oscillator is showing that we are potentially at a bottom zone, just like 2018, just like the COVID crash, just like the 2021 low, possibly there now. And when you pair up this chart with a chart from the account TA Trader Allen showing the comparison between the 2018 low and our current low in 2022, these also look strikingly similar, guys. The, the formation is very similar. And we're currently, you know, this is a little bit outdated. We're currently coming up right now. So it's kind of like an ascending triangle in both cases. As of right now, of course, if we end up breaking into a lower low, then that changes for this current structure. But I have not found it very simple to make a call on Bitcoin recently because we also have conflicting on-chain metrics that are saying, wait a minute, we're not bottomed out, right? Like the MVRVZ score, you always bottom out in this green band at the end of every major bear run. And right now, it doesn't show that. It says, look, we have room to move down. So there's a lot of conflicting stuff that for me makes it very difficult to say, which is why I'm neutral at the moment, right? Which is why I'm generally neutral. And the interesting thing about this as well is that we have this comparison that shows these two formations being similar, 2018, 2022. But we also have this comparison that I made of 2018 to 2022 and how these also do look strikingly similar. And on top of that, we have this chart that I posted on Twitter, which shows each having to each market peak. And if you're looking at this chart, first of all, this is 2013 going into 2014 from having one, the date right there, we went up for 368 days into the top. While that was happening, the 20 month MA was moving up, going horizontal. And once it went flat, we broke down. Let's go over here. This comparison, the second having 527 days to the top. 20 month MA moving up. Once it went flat, we broke down. Over here, third having 2022, 548 days to the top. And then the 20 MA goes flat. We haven't broken it yet. This chart is basically just showing what it would look like if we repeated the having cycle in terms of time. So this chart is more bearish leaning. And so one side of me says, okay, great. The S&P is breaking out to the upside, looking like a reversal. Of course, we could see volatility in the coming days, weeks, but great, we're moving up. This is good for Bitcoin, right? And because the S&P is giving us some upside, it is bringing in a little bit more confidence for speculators to speculate on Bitcoin to the upside. Right? That is why there is at least some degree of correlation between Bitcoin and the S&P. Today, the stock market's up. We're seeing a little bit more confidence instead of all this uncertainty that we saw before. Though, of course, we don't have a higher high yet. That's what we, we would want to see next. So, you know, a part of me says, okay, great. The S&P is up. It's bouncing. This could lead to Bitcoin breaking out, right? That's what one side of me says. And then the other side of me says, wait a minute. This is a volatile market. And in the past, whenever there's a volatile market, there's usually downside for Bitcoin. When the S&P is uptrending, 
Bitcoin's uptrending. When the S&P is volatile, Bitcoin is also volatile, usually going down, right? So all of these things are giving me ex like an extremely conflicting opinion, which is why I'm still remaining neutral on the market overall. And so this brings me back to the Wall Street cheat sheet psychology of a market, where in the last video, I made the argument that we could be at a denial stage, that if we break below 30,000, we would very, I mean, it's very easily the denial stage, right? Because if you really think about it, right, if you really think about this from an, from an unbiased perspective and you just look at Bitcoin, we've been in a downtrend for a while, right? After basically seeing a huge run up, now we're back almost to where we started. And so when the, you then look at the, the Wall Street cheat sheet, it kind of says that if we did break below 30, that would confirm denial. That basically people are in, an, in a denial right now that we're in a downtrend. Now, we're not in a macro downtrend because we don't have macro lower lows. But if we do break below 30, that would confirm that we are in denial, ready to capitulate. So yeah, so yeah, that's what one side of my brain is telling me. And then also people have been making great arguments as to why we're actually about to enter a disbelief rally. We're not there yet because we haven't broken out, right? We're not above 46,000. But the argument for a disbelief rally comes from what we were just talking about. This ASIN and triangle formation from 2018, this potential ASIN and triangle formation from here in 2022, showing a potential bottom, paired up with Willy Woo's stablecoin ratio oscillator showing, wow, I mean, like every time we bottom, we're right around this range. And then on the contrary, some other on-chain metrics have not bottomed out. So, you know, I'm still pretty much on the fence. I'm still pretty much neutral. But if this is true, right, if this becomes true, that we are bottoming just like 2018 up here, well, that would then actually confirm uh, disbelief instead of denial. And they're very similar emotions. Denial's denial of a downtrend. Disbelief is disbelief of an uptrend. So we're literally at a spot in the market cycle where it could be either or. It could go either way right now, depending on the stock market, depending on the global events, depending on all these kinds of things. Because at this point in time in, in the world, nothing's really guaranteed. Any crazy events can just take place. So we're literally, so in my opinion, we're either here or there, which is why I'm currently neutral. And I'm, I'm pretty open to it. You know, I'm open to either side of the trade, but I'm also considering both sides of the trade. So that's it. I mean, that's my true opinion. That's my honest opinion. Um, if we get above 46, it's looking like a disbelief. If we get up below 30K, 33K, well, it's starting to look a little bit more like a denial capitulation. Yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. That's pretty much all I wanted to discuss. Just wanted to explain my thoughts a little bit further. Hope you guys have a great weekend, have a great holiday, and I'll see you all in the next video.